Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Excel Sessions and today we will learn logical operators and logical functions in Excel. Logical operators or comparison operators are used to compare two values in Excel. These operators are also known as Boolean operators as the result of these operator is either true or false. There are six logical operators in Excel and these are equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to operators. These logical operators are used between two values and these logical operator returns true or false based on the comparison result. Equal to operator returns true when the two values are equal, not equal to returns true when values are not equal. So equal to and not equal to operator both are opposite to each other less than operator returns true if left hand side value of the operator is smaller than the right hand side value and greater than returns true if left hand side value of operator is greater than the right hand side value now in the example sheet column b and column c have data which we will compare using the logical operators. Now to use logical operator type equals to select the first value that is cell B2. Now use the logical operator equals to select the second value which is C2. Now operator equals to will check whether value in B2 and C2 are equal or not. Press enter. The result is false as both values are not equal. Now change the value 200 to 300. The result is now true because both values are equal. Similarly, to apply not equal to operator, type equals to select the first value, not equal to operator and select the second value which is C3. Press enter. The result is true because both values are not equal. If I change value 2 to 200, and then press enter the result will be false because now both values are equal so in this way equal to operator and not equal to operator are opposite to each other to apply less than operator type equals to select cell b4 type less than operator select c5 press enter the result is true because the left hand side value which is value 1 is less than of right hand side value which is value 2. If I change value 1 to 400 now value 1 is higher than the value 2 so less than operator will return false. Now to use greater than operator type equals to select the first value which is b5 greater than and select value c5 now the b5 is less than to c5 hence the result will be false if i change the value to 400 then the result will be true because left hand side value is greater than the right hand side value of the operator to use greater than or equals to operator type equals to select the value b6 greater than or equals to select value c6 press enter the result is false because left hand side value is less than to the right hand side value. Similarly, if I make the value same in value 1 and value 2, then also the result will be true. If we change the operator to less than or equals to, then the result is true. The operator can be used to compare a string or text value. While comparing the text value, remember that logical operators are not case sensitive and the operator checks each alphabet one by one as per the English dictionary and show the result accordingly. Now in the first example, B7 and C7 is showing the same word. If we use equals to operator, type equals to select B7 equals to select c7 and press enter the result is true because both b7 and c7 contains the same text if i change the case in c7 still the result will remain same because 
the logical operators are not case sensitive. B8 and C8 have different data. Type equals to select B8 equals to select C8. Press enter. The result is false because B8 and C8 are not equal. B9 and C9 have different data. And if we use less than operator, the operator will compare each alphabet one by one of both the words. So type equals to select B9 less than operator select C9. Now the first alphabet is same in both the words. Second alphabet is A in B9 and in C9 the second alphabet is E. Alphabetically A comes first then E hence less than operator will return true. Similarly if we compare B10 and C10 using greater than operator type equals to select B10 greater than select C10 and press enter it will return false because the first three alphabets are same in B10 and C10 but when operator will compare the fourth alphabet which is I in B10 and O in C10 because I comes earlier than O hence it will return false. The date values are stored as serial numbers starting from 1st of January 1900 as 1. If we compare B11 and C11 using less than operator then type equals to select B11 less than operator select C11 and press enter it will return false because 23rd March 2020 comes after 21st of April 2019 if we change the operator to greater than the result will be true if we compare the boolean value it will show true if both have same values now in cell b12 and c12 have different boolean values hence if we apply the equals to operator in between b12 and c12 the result will be false logical function are used to test whether the given condition is true or not there are four logical functions in Excel and or XOR and NOT. The logical functions are used to check more than one conditions. It returns either true or false. AND function returns true when all the given conditions are met. Else it will return false if any one or more than one condition returns false. OR function returns true when any one or more conditions are met. It will return false if all the given condition returns false. NOT function returns the reverse of output of given logical condition. It means NOT function will return true if the condition returns false and NOT function will return false when the condition returns true. XOR function returns true when odd number of conditions are true and it will return false if even number of condition are true. In the example sheet, column A is showing student name and B, C and D columns showing marks in the different subjects. The table is showing the condition to check whether the student is pass or fail. Now as per the condition, a student will pass if student gets more than 40 marks. In all the three subjects, individually hence we can use and operator or or operator to use and operator to check whether the student is pass or not type equals to and open bracket select b2 greater than 40 the second condition is that in second subject mark should be greater than 40 comma and the third condition is marks in third subject should be greater than 40 if all these three condition will met the end function will return true press enter now the function returns true because in all the three subject marks is greater than 40 if i copy the formula in all the remaining cells the function returns true when 
the student gets more than 40 marks in each subject individually and the function will return false if he get less than or equals to 40 mark in any one or more than one subject similarly we can use or operator to check whether the student is pass or not to use or operator type equals to or open bracket select the first subject less than or equals to 40 comma second condition is if student get less than or equals to 40 marks comma the third condition is whether the student get less than 40 marks in third subject now if any one of these condition is true or function will return true press enter the result is false because in none of the subject a student get less than or equals to 40 marks if i copy the formula in the remaining cells the function will return true only when any one or more conditions are true the best use of and or logical operator is with if statement to learn how to use logical functions and operators with if statement watch these two videos path of the video is shared in description section xor function will return true if odd number of conditions return true and it will return false if even number of conditions are true to use xor type equals to xor open bracket select b2 less than or equals to 40 comma select c2 less than or equals to 40 comma select d2 less than or equals to 40 closing bracket we are using three conditions the function will return true only when either one or all the three conditions are true if two conditions are true then the function will return false press enter the function returns false because none of the condition that means zero conditions are true which is an even number if i copy the formula in other cells the function will return true only when either one condition matches or all the three condition matches not function takes only one parameter and will return opposite or reverse of the result if condition returns true function will return false and vice versa now in this example a student will mark as star student if total marks is greater than 280 to use not function type equals to not open bracket select total marks cell which is e2 less than or equals to 280 closing bracket now if the condition returns true the not function will return false and if condition is false then not function will return true press enter now the total marks is greater than 280 hence the condition is false not function returns true if i copy the formula in other cells the marks is not greater than 280 hence the function returns false in this video we have learned the function and use of the logical operators and logical function in excel the file is uploaded and path is shared in the description thanks for watching the video if you like the content press thumbs up and share with your friends and colleagues subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get notification for new videos thank you